Good day! So to celebrate American Thanksgiving, let's talk about Garfield's Thanksgiving special? Yeah, I guess it. So as always, let's recap the episode itself, then we'll talk about some more things after. So, alright, let's go! Well, this special starts off in the same way that many days start for any kind of cat owner. You have a cat on your bed waking you up because it wants to be fed, right? Like, no different here. Garfield wakes up John to get some big-ass breakfast. He gets Odie's help, and he eventually succeeds. Now, with my time of living with cats, I find that it takes two weeks of pretending ending not to wake up after you get woken up or the cat to finally give up trying to wake you up. It either thinks that you didn't wake up or it knows you're just messing with them. Either way, man, it's well worth it. But I digress. So now that Garfield had a incredibly unhealthy and large breakfast, he is super pumped because Thanksgiving is tomorrow. And that means more eating. Not just any eating, like overstuffing yourself Thanksgiving eating. Can't get much better than that. So as they're all coming home from the grocery store, Garfield is bamboozled by John by going in a different direction and BOOM! They wind up at the vet! Time for a checkup! But it's not just any vet, it's John's love interest, Dr. Liz Wilson, who is in no way having any form of interest back towards John and turns him down multiple times during this visit. So John does what any logical adult would do in such a situation, he holds his breath until she says yes to a date. <laughs> well, of course he passes out from a lack of oxygen. <laughs> She agrees to go to his house for Thanksgiving dinner, and she also agrees that Garfield is much larger than he should be, so he should go on a diet. Although the correct term would be, you know, change his diet, but whatevs, right? Garfield's not too happy about that, but Odie is pretty happy to extract some revenge on his feline friend, and he acts like a referee, blowing his whistle whenever Garfield does an offense of trying to get some unhealthy food in him. Good on you, Odie. That's what I call tough. Love. So out of pure spite, Garfield tries to sabotage a Thanksgiving meal that John is making for Liz. <laughs> but joke's on you, Garfield. John is an incredible boob when it comes to making food, and he ruined the meal himself. So now he's totally hosed, right? What's he gonna do? He's got no meal. The woman he loves is hanging out in the living room, just bored to tears, doing nothing. So he calls up Grandma Arbuckle. She rushes on over. She whips up a spectacular meal so fast. Fun, that it would make Gordon Ramsay jealous. And while she's making this masterpiece, John continues to bore the living crap out of Liz. But everything turns out to be all good because the meal prepared by Grandma is just so freaking spectacular that the only thing Liz can think of is how awesome the food was and not how boring and dull John is. So she even agrees to a second date next Thanksgiving. But hey, man, still, it's a second date, right? And it was even so gooder that Liz starts to feel bad that John's cat is so completely overweight that she's like, you know what? Yeah, we should just maybe take him off that diet, you know? He's a pretty happy cat, so let him eat whatever he wants. Like lasagna, which is probably the most horrible thing you can ever feed any cat. Like, why would any vet allow that? But hey, whatever, right? So not sure what the whole point of uh, putting Garfield on a diet was in the first place, but meh. C'est la vie. And that uh, is where this uh, fantastic Thanksgiving tale ends. So that was a pretty quaint little special. Truth be told, one of those I haven't seen before. Yeah, sure, like Garfield Halloween and Garfield Christmas. Those ones I watch once a year, like every year. Not so much this one. I guess Thanksgiving's not really as big up here in Canada as it is in the States. And Canadian Thanksgiving is a month earlier than the American Thanksgiving, so I wouldn't have really gotten excited for this Thanksgiving special because, you know, it would have been out of my Thanksgiving time. But I'm pretty glad I finally watched it, and it's still pretty awesome. It's your classic kind of Garfield. I wouldn't say it's as hard hardcore awesome as some of his other specials. Maybe I'm thinking more nostalgically about his other holiday specials, but this one was still pretty good. I'm kind of surprised to see that there wasn't as big of a Arbuckle family presence in this one. Like, you think, like in the States, Thanksgiving is actually pretty popular. People do travel around to be with their family at Thanksgiving. You did see the Arbuckles get together for Christmas, so why wouldn't they get together for Thanksgiving? Like, right? It makes kind of sense that they would. I guess for this 
special. They wanted something kind of different, not so much the family gathering as they did at the Christmas one, and are kind of focusing more just on something different with Liz and John kind of getting together. So in that regard, yeah, that's pretty cool. You still had the fantastic dinner. You still had another Arbuckle family member in Grandma Arbuckle come down. And I guess maybe Thanksgiving isn't that big for the Arbuckles. I, I don't know. But it was still pretty charming. If you haven't watched it yet, you know, for Canadian or American Thanksgiving, I definitely suggest giving it a watch because, you know, still pretty classic Garfield, right? Like, you got those cheesy laughs, those silly psych gags. It is kind of funny how they say that a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. The same thing can be said for women if we use Liz as an example. She was bored to tears with John. She didn't want to be there. It was just a pity date. She was falling asleep when he was talking. But the meal that Grandma Arbuckle cooked up was so damn awesome. That's like the only thing that she could think about. Everything else about how boring John is is totally forgotten. Mmm, food. But yeah, let's go see what else we can dig up about this uh, fantastic little special. Well, so right off the bat, this special featured some characters that we don't see a whole lot of. Like, for example, this special had the second appearance of Grandma Arbuckle. Her first legendary appearance was in the legendary Christmas special, where she showed how grandmotherly she is and how much of a badass she is too. Her comic roots go back a little further. Her first appearance ever was in the Garfield comic strips in 1982. Ooh, but uh, she looked uh, quite a bit different than she does now. She looked more like a stereotypical grandmother with her hair back in a bun and all that. So her character was changed quite dramatically and realistically for the best, man, because she's a pretty awesome character. Another character to make her second appearance is Dr. Liz Wilson. Her first animated appearance was in 1983's Garfield on the Town, and her first ever appearance goes back quite wait a bit more. Heck, it was even before the Garfield comic strip. The precursor to the Garfield comic strip was the strip called John, where it focused more on John Arbuckle, and John's nose originally looked like this before he got kind of like a cartoon nose job and boom, looked more like John Arbuckle as we kind of know today. And also, this is originally what his cat looked like. What the hell, right? <laughs> Not quite the same, but I'm sure still a lovable cat. Anywho, back to Liz Wilson. So her first appearance was in 1976 in this John comic strip, and she was actually blonde to begin with. She hung out at a diner that John would kind of go to quite a bit, and she eventually got her signature kind of darker hairstyle. She would then make her appearance in the Garfield comic strip in 1979, where instead of hanging out at a diner, she is now a veterinarian. And we did see the first cartoon an appearance of the prototype talking scale RX2 <laughs> as it was comparing Garfield to Orson Welles. <laughs> Oh man, I love that thing. That thing made its first appearance in the comics in 1984 and really is a pretty wonderful character. I guess you can call it that. Speaking of character appearances, in this special, we did see a quick glimpse of Orson the Pig when they were at the vet. He was one of the pets in the waiting room and is again a nice little nod to that other comic strip that Jim Davis has done, US Acres, Orson the Pig being the main character in that one. And you gotta get the crossover you know, whenever you can, right? So speaking of comics, as per usual with any Garfield special, there will be a special comic-styled book made out of the special with some changes made to it. In this case, most of it is pretty much the same. When Garfield is put on this diet, his mental health deteriorates and he does get depressed and lethargic and all these horrible things and not just pretends that he is like he does in this cartoon special, which leads him to get really mad and he actually destroyed the meal in revenge whereas in this special it was John who destroyed the meal based on sheer incompetence but that's just how things go either way with the food getting destroyed one way is classic Garfield the other way is classic John so yeah it all works out if you wanted some more Garfield Thanksgiving stuff there is an episode from the Garfield show called turkey trouble in the episode John orders a turkey for Thanksgiving dinner 
but he accidentally gets a live turkey sent to him and all the hilarious hijinks that uh, can possibly happen with that. And speaking of Thanksgiving, when John was boring Liz with uh, worldwide Thanksgiving facts, he did make mention how Canada has a different day for Thanksgiving than the American Thanksgiving, which would be the second Monday in October. A lot of people probably wonder why the hell does Canada have a different day for Thanksgiving? And it was basically made out of just a sign of respect. You see, back in the day, Canada did celebrate Thanksgiving like mid-November, but then after the World Wars and other such conflicts, November 11 was made as a day to honor veterans of war called Remembrance Day. And of course, in the US, it's called Veterans Day. But in Canada, they kind of figured, you know what? Thanksgiving Day kind of takes a lot of focus away from Remembrance Day, and we kind of don't want that to happen. So let's just change the day of when we celebrate Thanksgiving. And so in 1957, yeah, we decided to celebrate it the second Monday in October, and uh, here we are. So there you go. You learned a little bit about Canada. And other than that, I guess, uh, you know, gobble gobble and uh, happy Thanksgiving and uh, yeah, yeah. Right on, and there you go. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it as much as I did making it. Also, feel free to check out the source material that I featured in this video. And if you want to leave a comment on anything you may have liked or things I might have missed in this, you know, feel free to do so. Or anything else, you know, just to say hi. That's cool too. And other than that, you know, uh, have a great day. Thanks.